Hello community, welcome back to our new web show, Bustler Buzz. We have a wide variety of programs we'll be talking about in this episode, including our new Lavery speaker series and some insights on tax season. So don't go anywhere. Bosler Buzz begins now. Welcome back to Buster Bus, everyone, with your hosts, Jeff Swole and Emily Gonzalez. Today you are viewing our sixth episode of Buster Bus. So as a side note, thanks for the support, everyone. That's right, Emily. We'd also like to remind everyone that tax season is upon us, and we here at the library are here for you. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel, or visit our library website, or stay tuned to our Facebook page, for our Bosler Buzz special report, Your Taxes 2018, to learn about changes to both the federal and state processes, as well as information about the resources available at the library to help you with filing your taxes. There you go, everyone. If you're still not clear on what these changes are, be sure to check out that special report. And talking about special, we wanted to remind you of a special program we are introducing. It's the Library Speaker Series and it starts Thursday, May 2nd at 6 p.m. It's in memory of our former Assistant Director for Public and Information Services, Dennis Lavery, who passed away this last June. Our first speaker in the series will be Dr. Katherine Carrison. She will be discussing her book, Jefferson's Daughters. Her talk will explore the different life paths of Jefferson's three daughters and explore the possibilities and limitations for women and people of color as a result of the American Revolution. That should be a very interesting program, Dad. I agree. And we have some other interesting programs coming up as well. One of these programs is the upcoming Wellness and Recovery Program. That's right, Jeff. So I actually had the opportunity to talk with Patricia Madigan, and we are actually going to see a chunk of that interview right after this commercial. Okay. Join Dr. Amy Farrell in an enlightening discussion on feminism. We will be using Adichie's We Should All Be Feminists, a book that aims to give a definition of feminism that is suited for the 21st century. So this next March 19th at 7 p.m., come in, invite your friends, and be open for discussion. We will see you then. Hello, community. I am here with Patricia Madigan. She is coming from Pennsylvania Mental Health Consumers Association, and we are here to talk about primary focus on mental health and also on trauma and recovery. So, Pat, thank you so much for joining us thank today. You very much. Um, I know you've been working with the association for like 12 years or so. How has that experience been for you? Uh, coming from uh, a larger organization that was uh, federally mandated to protect the rights of persons with disabilities, uh, coming to a smaller association, its membership association, and all of us across the board, including the board, are in recovery or have recovered from mental illness. So. For me, it was similar to coming home and uh, being accepted and knowing I don't have, or I can talk freely about having a mental illness. That's beautiful. And recovery. And important. Yes. So I know your your specialty is on actual mental health mm -hmm. and actually trauma recovery. So what would the difference be between one another? Okay, if I may, when I say about recovery and from mental illness would be for myself, it was a road of seeing that within myself and accepting it. And additionally, there was recovery for me uh, from uh, alcohol and that certainly was a journey as well as from uh, sexual abuse. 
So when we talk about mental health and trauma, you say trauma, mental health. I, I cannot uh, say which one came first or second. It has to do with individual. And for me, I believe it was mental health and then the trauma I'm talking about was certainly uh, a little bit later in my life, which again, did not help my recovery, but I, I stayed close both um, with peers who also are recovering from mental illness and certainly in uh, AA. So. so yeah, so this is something that, um, conversations that we should be having mental health and trauma, um, we can, anyone can experience that at any point in their lives and we should all at least have a general knowledge of it and have some tools to deal with it if we ever actually have to deal with it. So with this, I can say that I expect you all, we are actually having Pat coming in to the library for a I Am The Evidence program, and it's a program again on mental health and trauma. And it's going to be taking place again here March 19th at 2 p.m. So we expect all of you to come. Thank you so much, yes. Patricia, Thank for you. coming in. And we really appreciate it, and we are all looking forward to that program. All right, Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Emily. Like so many of the programs, services, and collections that we provide, this should be incredibly informative and thought-provoking. I agree, Jeff. And speaking of our collections, I know you have a new segment. This is exciting. Tell us about that. Well, it's called The Bookmark, and it's a way for us to highlight our collection. This month, the segment will feature some award-winning children's books, and it's coming up right after this. Join us on Friday, March 15th at 6 p.m. when the Rays Project and the Cumberland Perry Drug and Alcohol Commission will be administering a free workshop on the nature of addiction and the joys of recovery. Contact our Information Services Desk for registration and details. Hi, welcome back, and this is The Bookmark. It's our first segment, and I have with me today Chris Graves, one of our Youth Services Assistant here at Bosler Library, and she's here to talk about some wonderful award-winning books. Chris, thank you for coming on. Oh, I'm pleased to do this. Very good. Well, let's get started, because we only have a couple a couple minutes here. So, I know. Um, I know that one of the first awards that everybody looks for every year through the American Library Association is the Newbery Award. Can you tell me a little bit about this year's winner? I can. I can tell you about the winner for sure. It's called Mercy Suarez Changes Gears, mm -hmm. and it is about a sixth grade girl who goes as a scholarship student to a Florida Academy, and it's all about... Her ins and outs as a middle schooler and bullying and family, close family and um, disease that that comes up and it's going to be one of those memories they talk about for a while, I think. For about what age range? Of I would say anywhere from fourth grade up to eighth grade, which is really nice for a new reward, but it'd be so... So broad. Exactly. That's wonderful. And then yes. and then there's also the Caldecott Award, which That's is for correct. illustration, correct? That's American illustration. American illustration. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about the winner of this year? Yes. I'm really excited about this one myself because I never pick what the winner's going to be. Oh. And I picked this one this year. Oh, great. I love this book. It's all about a lighthouse that stands by itself on a rock in the middle of the ocean. And the lighthouse keeper who lives there through the year all by himself. Mm -hmm. And it goes through a few years as he, wow, he marries and gets a wife and they start a family. And it's all about, yeah, I mean, there's so much to see in each illustration that you can, kids can just look at this over and over again. It's now, since story. this is illustration, an award for illustration, is this more of the picture book style, so for younger children, or is this still for older this, children as well? It totally depends. Sometimes okay. the winners are definitely for older kids, Okay. but this is for all sorts of ages. Oh, I would great. say any kid from two and a half up. Oh, Because even, they've even done a lighthouse that you can see all the little rooms on each story. Gotcha. And, yeah, it's really wonderful. That's wonderful. And then in the center here we have the Coretta Scott King Award. And mm -hmm. now they actually award two books an award for this. Yes. One for illustration and one for the actual writing. Is yes, that correct? Yes, that, that is correct. It's an author illustration. And it's for a distinguished African-American oh, illustrator okay. and, All right. 
and writer. And this is the, the uh, A Few Red Drops is the award winner for writing this year? It, yes, it is. And it's a historical, um, I'm not even sure, uh, to tell you the truth, this one just came in, so I haven't had a chance oh, to read it yet. Okay. But it's about the 1919 Chicago race riots, and I believe it's nonfiction. Wonderful. But I'm not even 100%. Well, that's okay. All of the, our viewers can come in and grab it first yes. and read it, it before you the do. Cover, <laughs> the cover is exquisite. It so is. So it's very drawing. And then the other is the award winner for illustration. Yes, by Aqua Holmes. She is a Boston artist oh. and art teacher and fascinates me. She, it's, this is her second year in a row that she's won this award. And she's done it all with marbleized paper. Wow. That's absolutely gorgeous. Wow. It's all about the Big Bang. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Um, up here we have a whole lot of other um, award um, honorees. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll have information at the end of the segment on how you can find out about the titles that won these awards in the honor books as well. Thank mm -hmm. you, Chris. We're out of time. Thanks so much for coming on. Oh, I enjoyed it. Thank you. Great. Thanks. I'm Josh Swope, and this was the bookmark on the Bosler Buzz. See ya. They sound like some great reads. And we know that reading leads to lifelong success. And speaking of school success, Emily, I believe you have some details about the Friends of Bosler's Dennis Lavery Memorial Grant and Aid Annual Scholarship. Yes, I do. So this $2,000 grant is open to high school and college students that reside in Bosler Memorial Library Service Area. To find out more, just go into www.fosterlibrary.org or fosterfronts.com directly. That's it for this month. Yes, and if you'd like to find out more about our programs, be sure to visit our website, pick up a copy of the Carlisle Institute for Lifelong Learning or Growing Learners Library booklets at the library, or just follow us on social media. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.